Hello everybody, so I had just recently finished Resident Evil 7 Madhouse, which basically meant I unlocked infinite ammo, infinite whatever, I unlocked pretty much everything, I beat the game. Why didn't I record this? Because my recording crashed maybe 7 times, not only through one playthrough, but mostly like through the whole game. I tried to record it, but I tried to also stream it at, at one point. But I don't even know why it takes so much Wi-Fi. Like literally, it took so much Wi-Fi for me to even stream. Like I think at best, I got like fucking two megabytes per second. But that, that, that's besides the point. Now, what is my opinion after beating the game? Now you can see infinite ammo because that is just the proof that I did beat Resident Evil 7 on the hardest difficulty, aka Madhouse. Madhouse, Madhouse, Madhouse. It's whatever the same thing. So, I finished this game in about 16 hours. That does not include all achievements, all collectibles, all that kind of shenanigans. I just beat Easy, Normal and Madhouse in 16 hours. Which for me is decent because I struggled with Margaret's second phase where she is a literal fat fungus. Literally the, mo the worst fucking time of my life. I spent about almost an hour and a half just firing that bitch i gave up woke up the next day i went to work came back and the reason i'm recording this is because uh, i beat it i beat it first try and i've never been happy but why the hell is everything after her so much more easier jack was not a big problem everybody's like jack's the hardest of it like if you're doing madhouse no new game plus yeah sure i agree that it is hard but I never played the games with you know like just new game because if I were to do it I would not be making videos because that would mean I would have to be very competitive and I'm not competitive unfortunately call me a pussy call me a bitch listen man I care about myself I don't care about spending a hundred million times sitting here fighting the same boss dying to him but I will say one thing I did really enjoy Resident Evil 7 as much as I say that I want I prefer village I still prefer village but I had a lot of fun playing 7 I will finish all achievements and at some point probably do some recordings of, at, le at least but my main goal is just to get all achievements apart from the DLC ones like I the not a hero DLC is just is free yeah, so that's that's my good bonus but second is I'm not gonna buy the DLCs, like 21, all that kind of stuff, because it's like 12 bucks. And can I afford it? <laughs> what do you think I make millions of dollars? I don't make millions of dollars, unlike you all. But yeah, my enjoyment of the game has been pretty much just 10 out of 10, I'd say. Apart from Marguerite's second phase, which is the worst shit ever. I fucking spent hour and a half fighting her and then I was like I can't do it I was up I was the I was itty bitty close to just saying I'm gonna restart it from the start so I can get some frags I was like nah I'll, I'll do it. I'll try to you know beat it beat her to death I did in game in game in game just so you know that I'm doing this in game um yeah what I did I beat her and I had a lot of fun I was like I don't think I've ever been as excited. I've ever been as excited to beat a boss fight, actually, because why the hell is she so? E why is she easy on like the easy normal difficulty and on Madhouse? She's like the only boss that you'll really struggle on. Like I feel like I've never had so much like struggling pain in any Resident Evil game up until I met Margaret, the second phase, aka uh, Food Fungus or whatever her fungus is called. Yeah, I will say one thing. The reason that I have genuinely had a huge passion for just finishing this game is because I finished Village and I still need to finish it again because this is on a new PC, a new save, all that kind of stuff. But I'm waiting on a discount because I can't afford it. I mean, if anyone wants to buy me the game, don't buy me the game. Because that's, that's the only joke that I can ever say which will get me somewhat famously known for being the stupidest joker. But that's beside the point. So in this footage that you're seeing right now, uh, if you're watching this, if you're not, then don't don't think of it. 
Uh, I try to boss out this uh, old old lady because if, as you can see, she is the one reason as to why the ending of the game is super super easy. And I try to do as much as I can of the, of the damage. Like I, I think I once tried to you know threaten her with like a boss, like hey hey hey, I'm gonna do this. And then I I was like no no, and then yeah, and then I, I just went away. I was like I got bored. But yeah. What I think, would I recommend Resident Evil 7 to people who have never played it? Uh, yes. Because if you can play games with... Yes, I'm, uh, yes, I know I'm showing off infinite ammo and x -ray. Can you stop showing off for once? Thank you. Continue playing the fucking game. Scumbag. Showing off that he beat the game. That's so stupid. Like, can you imagine this dude flexing that he beat the game? Like, come on, bro. Just play the goddamn game. Also, uh, if... Uh, this is this video is not gonna be that good because uh, no one watches my videos that I don't upload. I upload GD videos. People don't watch anything else. I try. I did a poll. People are like, you can do other things, but I'm probably not gonna watch it. Anyways, without further ado, I hope you guys have a great day and a great time. But please remember one thing: this is not the end for the series of random, goddamn games.